One of the most highly debated questions of this generation is, can men and women be just friends? My friend Rhino believes that in general, men and women can't be just platonic friends. Do you think guys and girls can be friends? Of course. I had an opinion that guys and girls couldn't be friends. And I wanted to see if I could find the answer to this age old question. Rhino claims he doesn't currently have a single female friend. So I thought it would be interesting if I went out in public and tried to find him his first two X chromosome friend. And while I was out there searching, I figured I would ask some of the locals their thoughts on this topic. Do you think men and women can be just platonic friends? I don't think so. Yes. Hell nah. No, I don't think they could be just friends. Absolutely, yes. yes. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think so. I do think so. Man and woman cannot be just platonic friends. Yeah, I have like a couple platonic friends. 100%. Yeah. I would hope so. Nah, they can't be friends. I personally think they can't because a lot of guy friends I've had, they like have other intentions and I feel like that's how a lot of guys are if they're not gay. If she's attractive, you're gonna wait for your chance and you're gonna try to get with her. And if you find somebody sexually attractive, then I feel like it can't be 100% platonic. Like, if you would ever let them fuck as a girl, they would take it. So, I really don't think that's possible. A man knows what he wants, bro. He will play the role. He will play his role for years. Like, 99% of men, I think, would fuck if they had the chance. I feel like even if there is that feeling, if the other person isn't feeling it, you can still be friends. It's like, not gonna work, though. I don't think it would work. If they find each other attractive, then it's not gonna work. Because if a dude is single, he's trying to get out whatever, you know? You never know dude's intentions, for real. I have a ton of friends that are just, like, guys that are they're platonic. I I think it's kind of an immature mentality to think that you you can't have friends of the opposite gender. I mean, I've had platonic relationships. Have you not had platonic relationships? The last platonic relationship I had, he ended up having feelings for me. Because some people, they don't know what they want from themselves, and so they end up ruining good connections with people because they can't differentiate between just connecting with someone really well and romantic feelings. I feel like guys especially. No, you can't be friends. Do you have any guy friends yourself? Yeah, I do. Yes, yeah. Oh yeah, I have a bunch. I have a couple. I have so many guy friends. And we keep it platonic. Have any of them try to pursue you? I'll Outside of being just a friend? A couple times. Yeah, but I walk away. Yes, they have tried to pursue me. So would you say that maybe that's not platonic on their end? No, that's not platonic, yeah. No. Yeah, but I tell the ones that end up having feelings for me that I just don't have feelings for them. So they have feelings from you. Being platonic, there should be no romantic, no sexual interest. So are they really your friend? Do you have any current guy friends right now? Yes, but most are gay. And I think the ones that are just like straight, I think they probably do have a crush on me. You know, if they're just friends, you should have that self-control. It should be no problem just being friends. Unless you want to be more than just friends. So what benefits does a girl get out of having a guy as a friend? They get protection, a mini mechanic, transportation, money. This goes on. Do you have any female friends? Yeah, I do. I have a lot of girls that are friends, but they're just friends. What benefits do they bring? Shit, gossip, gossip. No cap, just drama, gossip. Maybe just a fun time. I don't know. Just advice and stuff like that. Could be a real nice friendship. Uh, I can give them like the girl point of view when they need it to or like an advice on the girls. We can give like good opinions and stuff. If I need advice, I can go to her. I think just like good talks and just company as well. You know, we can talk about our feelings. We can talk about our biggest fears. We can tell each other how much we love and appreciate each other and it not be weird. Do you help those guys get any girls? <laughs> no. <laughs> I do actually. <laughs> not at all? Like you're not no wing woman for them? No. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> You're a girl, you would know best. No. <laughs> so, do you have a significant other? Yeah, yes. Has your girl ever hung out with her guy friends one on one without you? Oh, I think so, yeah. Just don't let me find out about anything going on. If, if anything goes on, don't let me find out. And if, if anything goes on, don't let me find out. Me personally, I don't think it would work. Can you set boundaries for this? Or? I think you can, but I think it honestly depends on the guy and how like willing they are to pursue you. I feel like as long as you establish that boundary in the first place, that, that boundary could be there, but you know, they be pushing it. I don't know, some dudes are like weird, so sometimes they try and take it farther than that. So it really depends on who the person is. Then you just gotta say no. Like, you exactly, gotta make it known. It wouldn't work. work. It wouldn't work because then it'd be awkward. If you have to constantly tell them no, it's gonna make it awkward. I think that it's mostly because of the guy that always like catch feeling and they ended up making things awkward. Well, I'm lesbian and I have a lot of guy friends. They all know that I'm gay, so I think that they're aware that nothing's gonna happen. There's only been one guy that didn't believe that I was gay. He was like, how do you know for sure? And I was like, how do you know you like women? And that was it. Hmm. Do you think if you just like lied and said you liked one of them that they would fold for you? I don't know. I don't know. I've never thought about that. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. So maybe. I don't know.
I don't Are you looking for any more guy friends to add to your group or? Absolutely not. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? If the right person comes along, like I'm not trying to like, like say no, but if someone cool comes along, like sure. Like would you be friends with me or? Yeah, you seem pretty cool. I also have a friend who has a lot of different opinions from what you just gave me. I didn't know if you'd be open to maybe meeting him. And I mean, would you be friends with this guy? Yeah, why not? I mean, I, I don't know him, but yeah, sure. Uh, can you take your phone out real quick? We actually have a YouTube channel. This isn't no sketchy stuff. Yeah, LS. L. -S. L, -L -S. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, we've been doing this for a while. I'm basically on a quest to document where you could meet my friend. Yeah, I'm down. I'm, I'm for it. That's pretty cool. Are you free, like, today, if we were to, like, meet up with him? Oh, uh, I'm not from here. I'm staying at a hotel, but I'm good for tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow. Yes. So after this, I FaceTimed Sabrina. I gave her all the details. I made sure she was comfortable, went over with everything so she knew what we were going to do. And then she came over the next day. A lot of stairs here, aren't there? I know, I'm so tired. All right, well, welcome to our spot. Usually I just have to find a place to hide you. I don't know if you want to just like hide in that bathroom over there. Okay. Yeah. Let's... Yes. <laughs> And then I waited for Ryan to come home, and then I texted him to come upstairs. Howdy, sir. Oh, Lord, what's happening? We're filming today. Okay. Come over here. Oh, Christ. Do you remember how... Are you looking up there? Uh, somebody <laughs> popping out of something. Remember how you said that you don't believe men and women can be just friends? I, I have said that. Well, I've been on a little mission, and I believe that I just found you, your first female friend. Oh, interesting. And that person has been here for the past 20 minutes. Okay. Would you like to meet her? Shit. Yeah, let's do it. Friend, you may come out. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Sabrina. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, Sabrina here. We talked yesterday and she believes men and women can truly be friends. Wow, okay. How did you, how did y'all meet? So, I went to CSUN yesterday and she was one of the people that I met. And I said, hey, come meet my friend Ryan. We're meeting the friend Ryan. I feel like I should shake your hand if you're my friend. Okay. Whoa, that was a good one. Should we do like a little icebreaker maybe? Okay. Okay. How about you guys just look into each other's eyes for like 10 seconds or something? Okay. Because we need to make sure if you're going to be friends with her, that it's going to be truly platonic. There can't be any romance. <laughs> oh, this just got thrust upon me. Why are you so stressed? This is a lot at once. This is a lot at once. Okay. Bro has never had a friend in his life. No, I have, I'm friendly with many women, but they're not my friend necessarily. I'll Begin. New best friend. Stop. I'm looking past you. <laughs> How was that? That was good. I can't say that I felt anything. You genuinely think men and women can be friends? Generally? Genuine. Genuinely. Gen yes. Genuinely and generally. Generally, it depends on the person. Genuinely though, like pertaining to myself and like people that I surround myself with, I think men and women can be just friends. I'm open to it. You would have to convince me. So you have guy friends. Mm -hmm. How many guy friends do you have? A bunch. 20. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so what do you bring to a friendship? Assuming we're going to be friends. Companionship, friendship, advice, I guess. You think you could give dating advice? Yeah, so. I think so. All right, friend. So now we're at my favorite shaved ice place, and it's very good. So you think men and women can be friends, mm -hmm. which is a crazy concept. Okay, let's keep it above 50 here. Pretend I'm one of your guy friends. You are one of my guy friends. If we're walking in the street and a robber, a robber comes up to you, grabs you inappropriately, attempts to rob you, what would you want me to do? Look out for me. What the fuck? Okay, as I should. Now, if a robber comes up to me, you're with me. I'm your guy friend. I'd help you out. I push him off. Yeah. I touch your back. You're my friend. Stop the cap. <laughs> That's unequivocally false. Why? You are capping. You're telling me if a guy comes up to me talking about some stick em up or whatever, you're intervening. I would. If you start fighting, I'm fighting as well. I'm, I'm right beside you. You think I would? No. So women get the benefit of male protection from a male friend. What is the equivalent benefit that I would get? Because it's not protection. I guess that's just something you will not be getting. Correct. Equally from that friendship. Okay, so I, yeah, I won't be getting the protection. So what will I get? I don't know. You would get nothing from that. But that doesn't mean it's not a friendship. Sure. Usually friendships are built on mutual benefit. Noah and I are friends because yes. we mutually benefit each other in many okay. ways. But there's different The second levels. it becomes one-sided, she gets this, But just this, one this. thing doesn't make it one-sided. Here's some of the benefits of having a boy as a friend. You get the safety slash protection, companionship. You get attention from another person, validation. Someone stronger than you to do a multitude of other tasks that you can't do. Reaching for something, opening a jar. You get someone who's a logical problem 
solver. You also get a dating safety net. My friends are my friends. They, we do not cross that boundary. Correct. And if you so choose to cross it, they're going to be there for you. If you said, I can't find a guy that I like, would you maybe be down and being something? The guy will be like, oh, we could work that out. No, my friends would not. I'm talking about in general. Okay, general, yes. My friends, no. Okay, we're not talking about your friends. So you agree with me? Cheers. I will not disagree and say that men and women are not different, but you get that in a different way from women to men. Again, in generalities, I'm not saying there are no men and women with friends out there. There are different ways it could work. Generally, it doesn't. Hey there. Huh? Working on the video right now? Yeah, it's coming along pretty well. I wanted to uh, interject here. I wanted to show you something. Okay. Was this like a sponsorship or something? Oh no, we don't get any sponsors on this channel ever. It's been like five years since we've done a damn sponsorship. But anyway, I wanted to substantiate my claim. So I wanted to show you this just quick presentation just for the people. Oh shit. Because you know, if I'm going to make a claim, I got to substantiate it. I can't, can't just be saying anything. One of my least favorite things is when people are like, it depends. Well, it depends on it. I hate that word, like depends. I'm trying to give y'all the real, the real sauce and maybe you'll agree with me here. The one thing I'm not saying here is it's impossible. There's plenty of scenarios where a man and could technically be friends with a woman. And I also don't want there to be confusion as to what a friend is, because what I consider a friend is definitely different from what other people would consider a friend. So first and foremost, a friend, in my personal definition, is a completely platonic bond between two individuals who have a mutual liking for one another. Keyword, mutual and platonic. Here's a little diagram I drew for you here. This represents a romantic relationship. When a girl is truly in love with you, they will literally bury a body for you. There is so many benefits to having a relationship with a woman. It's out of this world. They will help you out. They will literally commit a crime for you. They will be there for you, help you when you're sick. I would argue they'll do more for you than your guy friends even could. The next thing, the bond between two men, brotherly love, so to speak. Well, there's a term I heard where it's like, there's no such thing as a female pallbearer, which means like when they bury you, it's your boys that are carrying your casket. Your boys will ride for you thick and thin. In my opinion, you won't be able to get this level of sort of commitment, ride or die You couldn't get that from a male-female relationship. I'm not saying you can't have a female classmate, acquaintance, coworker, associate, colleague. Those are words that I would use to describe the women in my life who I communicate with. But to be a friend is someone who's going to be your ride or die. So the big thing that happens here is people might think they're in a friendship when really one party is getting far more benefits than the other. And that's what I don't want to happen. I drew this scale here to represent this person that you're quote unquote friends with. You might be giving them all this and they're giving you this. And I wouldn't think that that'd be a fair friendship. Friendship is based on mutual benefits. So to any of the ladies watching, you guys might think you have a lot of male friends. Oh, I've got plenty of male friends. They yeah, they would do anything for me. But what I think is a more accurate statement is a lot of women have orbiters and not friends. So they have men that are waiting. They're in the solar system waiting for their chance to potentially be a romantic interest, to get a kiss, to get a little something. Because I know you guys have heard of being in the friend zone. Women will put men in the friend zone, but you never really heard of men friend zoning women. It doesn't really happen normally as much. And why? That's because there's so much utility to having a man friend. A lot of men are really craving female intimacy, female touch, things like that. Sex is to men what attention is to women. A lot of the guy friends are secretly craving a bit more intimacy, but aren't getting that. Whereas the girl is completely getting all the needs met and then some because she's getting attention and any other benefits that a guy is bringing her. And these orbiters kind of represent, oh, this is the, the guy that gives me good guy advice. This is the guy that I go shopping with. This is the gossip plus Starbucks guy. This is the guy that's really handsome and I love you like a brother, but I just couldn't see myself sleeping with you. When really any number of these guys are hoping to get something more. And then of course there'll be the people, well, Rhino, you're wrong because I have a best female friend and we've never done this. And what I'm saying is I'm speaking about generalities. I'll say something like women are shorter than men on average. And someone's like, well, I know a basketball team of 20 women that they're all eight feet tall. I'm not talking about that. I'm speaking in general. 98% of the time it doesn't work because someone's going to like the other person more than the other one. And that's not mutual. And it becomes uneven where the one person in the relationship wants more than the other and they're not getting their needs met. So if you think, oh no, me and my friend, we're mutually beneficial. We both are equal whatever. A great way to test that is ask for some sort of investment on their part. I could ask any of my boys, hey brother, can I borrow 15 bucks? Can I borrow 20 bucks? My card declined, something, something. I know any of my boys will send me 20 bucks. They don't have to ask why. They're going to do it for me. Or hey, can you come pick me up? Hey, can you come do that? Can you do that for me? Do this for me? Testing to see if you're being used and if you're a pawn in someone's life is ask them to show some sort of investment where it only benefits you and not them and see what they say. Because you might be willing to literally die for somebody. You 
might really be ready to put yourself on a line and go the extra mile for someone and then you ask them for 20 bucks and they're like, ah, oh, sorry, busy right now. You're gonna put yourself on a line for someone who won't even let you hold a damn Andrew Jackson bill? No way, so just a little tip. All right, so no more Mr. Nice Guy, I've been too nice to you. You said that one of the benefits that you bring to the friendship mm -hmm. would be potentially your female perspective or your advice yeah. that you could give to me or a guy or whatever. Yeah. So I went ahead and I went on my Instagram and I said, I'm working with a dating coach. Can you fellas please give me your dating questions and I'm gonna have the dating coach answer them. You are the dating coach. I had them send voice messages and you give this person advice and that's it. Okay. Here we go. How do I keep a girl interested in me? I'll be talking to this girl and then randomly everything's going smooth and then one day randomly she'll stop responding, stop snapping back, whatever. I mean, she'll do it but delayed and you know she's not feeling it anymore. Like, how do I keep that shit going? You know what I'm saying? Okay. First of all, she's probably not talking to you because you talk like that. How do you keep a girl interested? Well, I think you just have to mimic her behavior then and also be delayed. Obviously, like, if you're chasing after her every single time she leaves you delayed then she's gonna keep doing it because she has you wrapped around around her finger so i would say mimic her behavior mimic what she does in terms of being like flaky or delayed responses that she chases you and if she doesn't then i guess you know where she stands and she's like really not interested in you and you'll have to move on yeah that was um that was solid give you a point for that one i would say the same thing if they're pulling back then you gotta pull back if you're too available then she has nothing to chase and under pursue all right you pass on that one i'll give you a point damn okay that was pretty good why don't girls think I'm handsome like my grandma said they would. Sorry, man. You know how there's conventionally attractive people? There are conventionally ugly people. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm not saying you are specifically, but maybe you need to fix up you know, your hygiene, your grooming. Like as a guy, I think you guys underestimate how you dress can really like elevate how you look or how handsome you are. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a point. That's, that's the right answer. My, my girl left me because she was bored and I miss her. How do I get her back? I think some girls can be one back and some cannot. Mm. Depends on what kind of girl she is. And depends on how far back they go. I feel like if it was like a really, really long-term relationship and mm -hmm. she got bored, she's she's gone. I agree. If it was short term, I think she could be one back. But you know, speaking of hotels, do you want to come back up to my room? Not like that. <laughs> anytime a girl no, told no, me that. No, no, no. Anytime a girl told me that. No. Come up to my hotel room. Okay. I ain't gonna say no. No, I'm not gonna come to your room. No, because we're friends. We're friends. Yeah, okay. Lovely. Here we go. Ready? Here's the hotel. Shoes off. Asian household. Asian? What type of Asian are you? I'm Filipino Persian. Have you ever like smelled Canadian money? Never yeah. in my life. So Canadian money looks like guys is plastic. It smells like syrup. Actually, no, that's cash. Scratch the plastic part here. That. This has gotta be a troll. Oh, this one smells a lot. How many another Canadian to vouch for me? This was a surprise? Well, yeah, I guess. I guess this is the end of the road here. Do you want to be friends with me? I just feel as though I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I like how you match energy. I think we, we, we're both very quick-witted. Mm. So I fuck with that. I appreciate that. What about me? Do you think you could be friends with me? You know, I would have to say I could.